everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armel and I wanted to review Amazon today. It's Sunday. Market's closed today. However, Amazon reports Thursday night this week, October 26, and it's a it's a big report for Amazon. Uh, and let's review why. Let's just take a look at the daily chart here of the stock. So the earnings report for Amazon are the 26th of October. And I think it's a really important report because the last earnings report gapped the stock gap down and failed. And the stock actually has not made it over the high of that day at all, in, actually since July. So the previous high here, this is the last earnings report, which the stock gap down, high of this bar is 1032.85, and the stock hasn't gotten over it. It tried very briefly here, one time, 1022 got within 10 points just a couple of days ago, but it was a measly try actually, because this is, you know, a couple of months of trading. And the market's been making new highs literally every week, and this stock has not followed through with the market. The other reason why it's important to take a look at the report this week for Amazon, again, which is Thursday night, is because the stock is in an uptrend currently. It really is, it's very strong, but this is, will be the first report since the takeover of Whole Foods. So Amazon purchased Whole Foods for $13.7 billion back in August. This was when the sale went through. And so it'll be interesting to see here what they report now that that's taken place. And I think it needs to be a good, a good report. I think it needs to be a good reaction. I think, it, I think it's really important to see what happens for the stock. And I'm not saying if the stock gaps down that it's going to collapse and go from an uptrend to a downtrend. It is still holding the downtrend here. It would have to go, you know, very far down for it to break trend. But sometimes when you get gap downs, they start a move in a different direction in a change in trend. It would be much better for the stock to gap up on the earnings this week which would be then Friday morning, would be gap up Thursday night, open Friday morning strong, that would be the best thing for the stock to do. Particularly, as I said, because the stock has not followed through with the market here since the failed earnings, hasn't gotten over the high that day, and this will be the first report since the takeover of Whole Foods, uh, which was a new venture for Amazon, and also, you know, they paid a lot of money for it. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but I think this is the most important earnings for this week and could affect the market as well. So definitely we'll be watching this Thursday night. If you have any questions or you wanna learn more on gaps, you can feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks everyone and have a great day.